gas prices on the rise, a fatal shooting in Iowa, and the World Series is headed to Game 7. These stories plus more headlines are coming your way on today's Five on the Fives. the THS TV 5 on the 5s, bringing you the top 5 headlines in news, entertainment, and sports. I'm Sammy Chatham, and we are streaming live on THSLive.com. And now to today's top story. Gas prices are on the way up after a fatal pipeline explosion earlier this week. The average prices have gone up 3 cents a gallon in Georgia and nearly 2 cents a gallon in South Carolina. Gasoline future prices rose 6 point cents in trading yesterday. Drivers beware because the prices are expected to continue to raise. The pipeline explosion caused 100 million gallons of gas to be lost. There is expected shortages in the southeast. Law enforcement officials are searching for a 46-year-old man in connection with the shooting of two police officers this morning in central Iowa. Scott Michael Green is the main suspect in the shooting, which the police department is calling an ambush. Green is considered armed and dangerous. The two officials are found fatally shot in their squad cars in two different intersections. Police began discovering the killings at about 1 a.m. today, when someone reported shots being fired. The bodies were found within 20 minutes of each other and within a two-mile radius. For more updates on the story as it develops, visit CNN.com. Danielle Jonas, the wife of the former teen pop star Kevin Jonas, has just introduced a new baby girl into the world. Danielle posted a photo of her two daughters snuggled together in the hospital in celebration of her youngest birth. The firstborn child, Alina Jonas, was born in February of 2014, and Valentina Jonas was born this past Thursday. The other Jonas brothers were excited to announce the birth of their second niece over social media. Joe Jonas tweeted, quote, I'm an uncle again. Congrats to my brother and sister-in-law on the newest addition to the family. So beautiful, end quote. Danielle and Kevin Jonas are excited for the adventure that awaits with their growing family. Now let's toss it to Constance with today's national sports headlines. Last, last night, the Cubs faced elimination again. However, by the fifth inning, the Cubs held an early 7-2 lead over the Indians. A grand slam and had six RBIs, tying the World Series record. The Indians fell 9-3 as the Cubs forced a Game 7. Game 7 is tonight at Cleveland on set at 7 on Fox. Last night, the Cavaliers faced off against the Rockets, and the Cavs will hold on to win 128-120. to Kyrie, 32 points two rebounds and four assists. Harden for the Rockets would score 41 points and seven rebounds and 15 assists. The Spurs played the Utah Jazz and lost their first game of the season in a 106-91 loss. The Warriors faced divisional rival the Portland Trailblazers. Stephen Curry would score 23 points in the third quarter, adding to the 41 points the Warriors scored that quarter. Curry had more points that quarter than the Trailblazers had as, as a whole in score in 20. Warriors won their third game of the season by defeating the Trailblazers 127-104. That's all for today's sports headline. Back to Sammy with today's announcements. Mr. Huggins is holding a canned food drive for Mana Ministries to feed as many as 500 families who are in need of our assistance. Bring donations to Mr. Huggins in room 111. Baseball tryouts will be next Thursday and Friday, November 11th. Sign up in room 108 with Coach Hamrick or Sparserino, 2nd through 6th period. You must have a current physical to participate. That's all for today's THS TV 5 on the 5s. Tune in to THS TV Friday for more news, entertainment, and sports from Thompson teams and other teams around the country. Have a great day.